Hey fam, welcome back to another video. Welcome back to another reaction. This is Segovia coming to you live from the man cave. Hope everyone out there is having a good week. Hope everyone's having a good 4th of July weekend. We're back, y'all. We're back with another reaction. I'm back from Arizona. It was a nice, well-needed trip. Broke the breaking news to the family. Haven't broke it to the K fam yet. A couple of the K fam, a couple of K fam members got the news right follow me on instagram they got the news y'all so make sure you guys go follow that instagram links in the description you guys get a lot of breaking news that's happening in my life on instagram before we share it on youtube with the k fam y'all but anyways y'all we're back we're back with another reaction we got a good one today i'm over here enjoying this sunday it's hot out here in texas 108 degrees today very hot so i'm staying inside windows are all shut nice and dark out there my lady the puppies are all relaxing sipping on a nice non-alcohol corona we're gonna have some fun today, y'all. Let's get into the reaction. One of the first questions that they'll ask is, what do you do? And so I say, I live. And they say, no, I mean, do you work or what? And I said, no, I just live. And they said, well, you must do something because their whole orientation is towards job, occupation. This is their whole life. Money. Money. Because I'm not gonna, I mean, you want me to pick out some agencies? Yeah, NASA, I could pick out some sudden NIST. I could, but just in general, in general, it's history, science education energy everything has always been controlled by the government since day one radio has been used as propaganda since the day it was invented you think some independent dude just invented radio and then he started broadcasting the, like his favorite music and shit and he, what his thoughts no it was the government from day one in radio it was the government in all countries from day one in uh uh tv in the movies it was it was all radio, TV, and the movies you have always been about propaganda. Always in every country. It's nothing new. It's old school gangsters. Our country is the most what does this have gangster. To do with the, what does this have to do with the, the world being? No, flat? no. This is this this is this is how gangster our our, our uh, government is. There's a there was a war on drugs. We started a war on drugs. Turns out we're bringing it in. Then there's a war on terrorism. Turns out we created Al Qaeda. Do you understand why I'm crazy? I'm crazy because of that shit. I'm like, Pfft. you could believe that shit. You want to believe that okay, shit? But the Good problem luck, is... but I ain't. You know, I decided on Thursdays, we're going to start doing some throwback Thursdays to my older videos back from... I kind of really got consistent with these type of videos last October. So we're going to start doing some throwbacks. I did one last week. I don't know if you guys caught it, uh, but that was an older video. So we're going to start doing some throwbacks because... A lot of these things that Eddie Bravo was talking about, he's the one that got me into all these conspiracies, a lot of them, right? I started watching him on the Joe Rogan podcast, talking some stuff, his old podcast, right? From, you know, the 2000s, whatever. But anyways, we're going to start doing some throwback Thursdays, y'all. Let me know if you guys are cool with that. But even if you ain't, we still going to do them. Yeah. And that right there is why I kind of, when I'm driving in my truck or in my car, it's just silent, y'all. I don't got no music playing no more. I rarely listen to music because of things like that. These people that portray all this shooting, killing, drug dealing, and preaching negativity to us as a people, to our children, to our nieces, to our nephews, behind closed doors are wearing dresses, y'all. So that's why I don't listen to this music. That's why you don't see me reacting to Kendrick Lamar like all these other TikTok reactors are doing, right? You don't see me doing that. I don't listen to it. Oh my gosh. Look at this bird talking. He's talking. No. What the heck? Yeah, hey, I'd freak you out if you saw that That's bird talking crazy. like that. <laughs> it sounds like a radio. What else could it say? I don't know. I don't even know tweet, what it's tweet, saying. Tweet, tweet, tweet. Tweet, tweet. The bird is actually. It is talking, I swear to God. Yeah, this Listen. Is oh. <laughs> he's so... Ew. Is it real? <laughs> I don't know, is, is it like a robot? Because like, that's a pretty good moving robot. 
What? Why is a bird here? Yeah, say something. It's like saying something to talk about. Look, its eyes look Ew, like it just cameras. <laughs> Wait, it just peed. It just pooed. I know. <gasps> Did you snap back into it, bro? <laughs> that's crazy. Oh Somebody God. in the comments was saying right, that's a t we gotta go, guys. was a type of bird that talks. I don't know. I never heard of that. Yeah, I was scared of him. That sounded like a damn radio. Dude, get out of here. Well. Am I having? Let's drink and beers, Did anyone else find the invitations to the all-white party extremely weird? This is the highest profile party in the world called the all-white party. It's hosted by billionaire Michael Rubin and it happens every year on the 4th of July. But there was something about the invitations that just didn't sit right with me. This one is Tom Brady's. This one right here is Drake's and this is Quavo's. You can see all of the celebrities invitations if you just look them up. But if you pause and look at the artwork, there's some weird stuff going on. These invitations were done by George Kondo. This is a very popular artist and some of his artwork goes for millions of dollars and he gave each celebrity their own unique invitation. And I looked up some of his artwork and he has a lot of interesting stuff including when he collabed with Kanye West for one of his album covers he drew him up a bunch of artwork. Yeah, I mean, it speaks for itself. A lot of people question what actually goes down during this party, especially after they saw what Michael Rubin no, made no, Meek Mile do, jumping around like a bunny because he supposedly lost the bet. And then in the private jet when Lil Baby and Meek Mill were saying they that they were going to get drunk in hugs if they don't behave at the party. I don't care what anyone says. You're getting a drunken hug. You too. You too. Drunken hugs are coming tonight. He's not Those are the roughest, toughest rappers out there. <laughs> Talk about you're going to get drunken hugs and he's all giggly. I can't do it no more, y'all. I can't listen to the music no more. I just can't. It's cringy. I'm lying. Listen to this. They have everyone. I mean, black people don't even know that every civil rights legislation in this country was given to us, authored and supported by Republicans and not Democrats, That's even up until the 90s. That's deep. Even up until the 90s. So nah, homie, they say, well, the party switched. No, they Never. didn't. Why do you think one gives you all the government assistance? Yeah, one keep you dependent. To keep you reliable. Because one of, them is, one of them is a slave master taking care of their slaves. Which one is that? The Democratic Party. You got to do your research, bro. The eye in the mouth. No, I saw that. But I mean, um, I mean, because you would think if you want to see something, just open your eyes and see. Well, you know what? You want to hear the story behind it? No. That's, That's terrible. Do you like the racism? I like racism. Yeah. What do you think about the Palestinians not being able to walk along here? Uh huh? That's because you don't think about other people, or? Of course I do. Well, then how can you not think when they can't walk here and I can't get the bus? Huh? I can't get the bus, I can't do anything. What do you think? Okay. You don't have to read up. They're living here, man. They're not allowed over here on the bus. American dollars American dollar's paying, huh? Fantastic. In the oceans. Uh -huh. That's how you get to the outer realms. Uh -huh. So the real outer space is beyond the Antarctica and deep within our oceans. That's why if you look at their out of space missions, they're actually in water floating around in water somewhere in Las Vegas, Nevada, Levada, and deep in uh, the Colorado. They ain't out of space. That's why if you look, it's so many people now putting up showing that these these space shuttle missions is fake as hell, man. Mm -hmm. Show, showing you mm -hmm. that they ain't never been out of space. If you really want to go out of space, get your ass in a submarine and go deep within the water. That's the true out of space. And there's so many different alien bases and military base underwater and in the actual ground. They're hollowing out mountains now. They're in, they're hollowing out mountains. This is, you can Google this. Mm -hmm. And they're making inside of mountains, underground bunkers and underground military bases. Mm -hmm. So if they're doing that to the mountains, imagine what they're doing underground in, in space, water. in the water. So if you want to go outer space, go deep, go deep sea diving. You said it's aliens. Yeah, aliens. And all alien mean is, so Elyon is a Hebrew word. That's where they get aliens from. It's really El Elyon. Uh -huh. And that just means of the most high God. Uh, technically, we are aliens. 
Gotcha. And that's why they studying us. That's why they stealing our melanin. Uh -huh. That's why they trying to understand the functioning of our biological vehicles. That's why they can't understand our circadian rhythm, our biological clocks. We are diff We are the most different species of humans that the planet ever, ever, ever had. Mm -hmm. We're so different than them. Our teeth are shorter than theirs. Their teeth are wider and longer. Mm -hmm. Their canines are longer than our canines. Their hydrochloric acid inside their stomach is hotter than ours. You're talking about white people. I'm talking about white people. Huh. They produce a acidic enzyme in their mouth. We produce an alkaline enzyme in our mouth called amulase and ambulose and trypsin. They can break down proteins and meats. Our stomachs can't break down proteins and meats because the pepsin and the hydrochloric acid doesn't get hot enough to break it down. They, they digest the system can go through something called putrefactions or can't mm -hmm. ours go through something called fermentation uh, a lot of them grow tails they hair grow towards the earth or towards the ground our grow it curls and it grows towards the sun mm -hmm. we have high melanin content inside of our melanin we have something called selenium they have low melanin content inside their melanin they have something called ammonia Mm -hmm. and they have a high sulfur con concentration inside their cells and that's why when they get hot they actually, when it get hot outside, they get colder. Or if it get cold outside, they get hotter. That's why you can see a white man running in Daisy Duke shorts in, in the middle of the winter when it's 20 below freezing. He That'd got on crazy. a tank top and, and he hot. That'd or, be crazy. <laughs> or when they get hot and they get around water, it changes in the sulfur mixed with ammonia and it gives off this, this actually uh, canine smell. And that's why they say they smell like wet dogs. You see, <laughs> I'm, this is all scientifically proven. I run in the winter time or in the summertime because if you do what's hard in life, life will be easy, right? If you just run when the weather's 70, 65 degrees, I mean, growing from that, right? Take that with a grain of salt, people. Even Louisiana could be in play at this point. A very unpredictable storm this is. The dragon has been released. Apparently, Robert, more dragons to come. The dragon has been released. Could this anomaly have been something more? During the eclipse, right? The start of Hurricane Barrel. And apparently, Bob, with more dragons to come. Could they be dropping hints? The dragon has been released. Coincidentally, it is the year of the dragon. Forgot about that. It is the year of the dragon. And just for fun, this is Barrel Crystal. Wow. See what happens in Texas. <laughs> The Caribbean is on high alert. Hurricane Barrel made part landfall of Texas around 11 a.m. this morning on Grenada's Caracou Island, packing catastrophic winds of 150 miles per hour and a life-threatening six to nine foot storm surge. We have reports of extensive storm surge. We have uh, reports of extensive loss of roof and damage to buildings. In nearby Barbados, the storm surge caused flooding and destroyed about 20 boats in this bay. The storm is the first Category 4 hurricane ever recorded in June when it strengthened over the weekend. And it's the first to increase from a tropical storm to an intense Category 4 storm in just 48 hours before September. Hurricane Barrel is on a path to Jamaica and officials there are asking residents to prepare. We keep an eye on the forecast and the forecast is saying that it's not supposed to be much. So you're just going to batten down and ride it out. Chilling on the happens. beach, got his feet up. And to give you an idea of just how unprecedented this storm is, the average date of the first major hurricane is September 1st. Experts say the power of barrel this early is driven by abnormally warm waters due to climate change that are fueling the storm. Major. Tom Hansen, thank you so much. Upside down crucifix. <laughs> now you see why I don't listen to music, yo. Look at this. It's at a concert. <laughs> Maybe there's a reason I ain't never been Get to a concert. Away. They didn't just kill him, Joey. For sure, someone in the CIA had something to do with it because of Jolly West's involvement.
And from that moment on, Jack Ruby lost his fucking mind. I think they just dosed that guy into a fucking coma. And then after they dosed him into a coma, they gave him cancer. It's all connected. And the, the idea that no one was involved in that assassination other than Lee Harvey Oswald, that doesn't make Bullshit. any sense. Patsy, bro. Somebody was giving him money, letting him know. On him. Yep. Uh, yeah, I think he was a patsy. It goes to when they shot Kennedy. What they saw, like in Chicago, how they knew for sure it was the mob and the CIA that killed Kennedy. They talk about how when Malcolm X was going to meet, I didn't know about this. He was going to do a speech at the at the United Nations with Che Guevara. Malcolm X. Real. I don't know if you're ready to hear this, but your favorite celebrity is friends with the witch. Oh man, it all makes sense with the rumors that are being put out by Usher. Pay attention. Do you people. know who that is? We'll get to Most who she people. is here in a second, but just wait. Oh, it's definitely starting to make sense. As you can see, this is ASAP Rocky right here, right? It's definitely starting to make sense. As you can see, that's the Migos right there. I think we're missing one of those members, right? Everybody's friends this with This is Mrs. Her. Michelle Lamy, and I'm Weird. sure this picture right here tells a thousand words in itself, right? If you don't know about the controversy behind Usher or why I'm showing you this lady, I'll fill you in. There was a photo of Usher that was released just recently. And in that photo, you can clearly see that it looked nothing like Usher to even begin with. I'm sure everybody's up to date about the cloning process that's rumored to happen in the industry, right? I know it sounds crazy, right? I'm sure we all sound like conspiracy theorists. I get it. But why do you think they made a show called Who Cloned Tyrone? People really need to start thinking outside Good the movie, box. movie, by the way. This is ASAP Rocky's wife, Rihanna. If this photo in itself doesn't tell you that there's some weird shit going on, I really don't know what will. But this lady right here has a lot of controversy behind her name. But as you can see, Michelle Lamy is a French culture and fashion figure. He's been a clothing designer, a performer, film producer, and more, and is the wife of none other than Rick Owens. Does anybody know who Rick Owens is? Because, God, once you dig a little know. deep, you can't stop digging. And then you start to find things that you really thought you would never find in the first place. Things that you actually can't present openly here on TikTok anymore, and reasons of why I actually started a Twitter profile. Do look for my link in the bio. But the fact that, that Usher is heavily associated with this woman Thanks just tells watching. me everything I needed. All right, what up, everybody? I'm out here again, and I want to show you something. I just came back from Taco Bell, just so you guys can see. I'm right here, and look, I want you to see something. See that bell? Take the bell part out. And look. That's a snake eye, bro. That is a snake eye, everybody. The eye of the snake. Evil, venomous, vindictive. So we all knew that the food probably isn't real meat. And uh, people go missing. They say they get turned into McDonald's. Or could it also be they get turned into Taco Bell? Now look, they got a giant thing called the Cheez-Its, like a tostada or something like that. But I just made a video and I'm doing this one in response to my video about Soylent Green. It's a green square wash. It's a green wafer square exactly this size, all right? But it's green. Apparently there's Soylent Yellow. And now look at this. Come on, bro. You telling me there's a movie named Soylent Green where the food is people. Soylent Green is people. That's what they say in the movie. It's a green wafer chip. Now they got this giant orange wafer chip. Soylent Orange. I'm telling you, I ain't lying. Taco Bell, we know the meat ain't real. And over here, look at this. You got the snake eye, bro. You see what I'm saying? Y'all gotta learn to connect these dots, man. If not, I'll do it for you. But, yeah, man, say hello. Your Soylent Orange. They're making our food out of people. Next thing, they'll be breeding us like cattle for food. You gotta tell them. You gotta tell them. I promise, Tiger. I promise. I'll tell the exchange. You tell everybody. Listen to me, Hatcher. You gotta tell them. Silent Green is people. We gotta stop them somehow.
You guys think he ate that Taco Bell when he turned off the camera? <laughs> he tore that cheese it up, I bet. But I never noticed that about the Taco Bell. I never paid attention to that. That's pretty crazy. It was a debate that your campaign wanted. You pushed for this debate at this moment. Uh, obviously, I mean, you can't honestly say, I mean, can you say that you he are not concerned at all having watched the president's oh, performance he's tonight? He's surprised by her. It was a slow start. That's obvious to everyone. I'm not going to debate that point. Can you imagine your own VP can't defend you right now? It's pretty bad. And she was nervous doing it. And by the way, she still fought to be a flag carrier for Biden in her best own way. But it was so embarrassing that you can't even spin how bad it was during the debate. Even Kamala, who's been in the professional spinning business for 30-something years, she couldn't even do it. And she's a pro. All right, all right. I know I'm late to the debate stuff, right? I was in I was in Flagstaff watching the debate in the hotel room. I loved it, y'all. Every second of it. A couple of little clips. I know you guys are probably all talked about the debate all over, right? But little clips of it, right? You ever watch the debate afterwards? I don't think I did. No. Did you know how badly it was going? Yeah. Look. The whole way I prepared, nobody's fault of mine. Nobody's fault of mine. I, uh, I prepared what I usually would do, sitting down, as I did come back with foreign leaders or the National Security Council, for explicit detail. And I realized about partway through that, you know, all the, I get quoted, the New York Times had me down at 10 points before the debate, nine now or whatever the hell it is. The fact of the matter is that what I looked at is that he also lied 28 times. Y'all, we can't have that as a president again. Look at him. He can't even walk down the stairs. I don't even know what word to you. This is done. This is embarrassing. And yeah. the most important question every voter has to answer is the following. Yeah. Okay. What, are the, what is the likelihood of that, that China, Russia, and Iran's watching this right now? 100%. Yeah. Let me ask you a question. If they could somehow, some way, participate to manipulate our election, which one of those two do you think they would prefer winning the it's election? Not Joe because Biden. Not even Joe Biden. I really don't know what he said at the end of that sentence. Yeah. I don't think he knows what he said either. It's over. It's done. The All right, family, there you have it. There is Sunday's reaction. Hope everyone out there has a good day today, maybe with some family, barbecuing. I don't know. What are you guys doing today on Sunday? What do you guys normally do on Sundays? Now that I'm home, away from Texas, I mean, away from Arizona in Texas, I don't get together with the family no more, but I like to cook, y'all. So today I'm cooking some nice wings, some bacon wrapped jalapenos on the grill nice salad maybe some asparagus with that a little feast i like to feast on my sunday so starting new traditions out here but anyways let me know what you guys do on your sundays down below this is segopia i'm signing out of the man cave i'm gonna see you guys on tuesday cheers later